Hi, my name is Felicity and today I'm going to show you how you can build a front end for your Airtable base in just over 10 minutes with a product called Softer. We don't have long, let's open our browsers and get stuck in. So what you'll need to get started is you'll need a Softer account and this is just a free account and you'll need a an Airtable base from which to draw your data. So uh, this is one in the library, this is the ultimate meal planner for recipes. So first of all you log in and then you select new application. If you want you can choose a template but my understanding is having looked at that when you choose a template you have to uh, copy the base that the template is based from back into your own Airtable and I don't want to do that. I want to use a pre-existing Airtable base so I'm going to start from scratch. So if the first thing you get presented is this blank screen and you've got uh, the mobile tablet and laptop views. So all the designs are responsive out of the box, which is great. You don't have to think about that. So let's add a block. And now the static blocks are for um, kind of static content. So uh, things that you might edit um, yourself, but aren't going to change based on the data. So that's not what we want. We want to build a recipe index. So we're going to use the dynamic content. You have a few options here, but these are the ones that concern us, the list and the list details. So first of all, let me select the list and then you get given some designs. Uh, so you can have a little look and see which you think is appropriate. But for me, um, this simple card design is going to work well. So I will select that. And then straight away, um, you've got your design up, which is really nice um, and easy to see. And we can get right into editing. So we select the block and we'll need to set up Airtable. So you'll need to have your API key on hand to do that, which you can find in your account section. connect to your Airtable base so I'm going to select the ultimate meal planner and then you need to choose your table so the table I'll be drawing from is the recipes table so if we go back here we can see the recipes table and so once you've done that you get all of these options here so uh, they go from high level to um, more granular. So the view, um, you can change the view that you have, which is really helpful in being able to cater different pages for different people or different purposes, because you can set those views up in Airtable and then refer to them here. You can sort um, and you can change the display. So I'm gonna select, sorry, six items with three per row. And remember, um, we have the different layouts. So even though it's three per row on uh, desktop, um, it changes. So that's probably worth noting that this is a, a desktop um, view. Um, so as well as the view option, you can actually also add conditional filters. So I'm going to add one to show you how that works. What I want is when the name field is not, and if we go back to our recipe planner here, we can see that there's eat out, which is used, um, oops, which is used when you're using the meal planner and you are not including your own recipe. So let's paste it in here so when the name is not eat out this will show all the other recipes and then we start to get to some of the other elements on the page so we can see the inline filters and the label here so this is something which is great with software so you can actually change edit the labels they don't just come from Airtable so I'm going to put tags and I'm going to filter by oops sorry filter by tags here 
and it pulls them straight in so you can su su suddenly see and also it updates the preview for you so those are some really nice touches and I'm going to do the same thing here Right, we'll keep the search bar okay so now we are down to this content and we're going to uh, map the fields to the correct ones let's just do that map the content to the name sometimes it's a little slow And then the text here, I'm going to put that in as the notes. And this second text box option here, I'm not going to need that, so I'm going to delete that. One thing to note is that as the um, page gets quite compl more complex, there's not... Um, a clear relationship between this item here and what you have rendered on the page so that can become quite tricky um, if you had lots and lots to be able to keep track of what it was you were editing you'd have to change it and then see see what what changed on the page so that's just a something to be aware of um, we've also got this see more button to show more down the bottom and we have um, the empty state which is Good. you can actually change the message if there are no results returned and then we have the on-click action so it's default do nothing but we actually want it to open the listings page the listings detail page rather and I don't have that made yet so let's go over here to the left hand side to pages and we can create that add new page page name recipe save and we'll go in and edit the recipe page. So we'll do the same thing we did before. Dynamic. And we're going to do list details this time. I like the look of this one with a nice big image for my recipe. And then we're going to go in and edit. We have to select the base again. It would be nice if it pre-selected that. But I guess you could have an Airtable, multiple Airtable bases feeding one website. So we're not adding any filters this time and we're just going to map these fields just like we did before and again as we do it it automatically um, updates on the left hand side I'm going to choose attachments So this is something that I did to show you. You might think, oh, I want the image up the top. Uh, some of the fields, the fields that are inserted by default, you can't actually move around. But if you add fields later, you can. So it's, I'm going to go, oh, hang on, didn't want that. So let's see if we can edit this. I'm going to remove this. Can I edit the field type? No, I can't. So that's... Um, one of the limitations with these templates uh, you can get around it by um, hiding the field so I've just hidden that field but you can't edit them um, if they are part of kind of the standard template out of the box so let's just keep going I just want to show that to you because that might be something that you may come across okay I've got rich text here so I'm gonna make that the ingredients okay and then I'm going to hide this field because I can't delete it and I'm gonna add a new field which will be my 
do a rich text again and it will be my instructions so I think that's everything I need for a recipe so you can see we've got the tablet design and the mobile design out of the box what we've selected here is a gallery and one thing to note is that the gallery when it resizes um, it doesn't resize the image itself it crops it so you might not be happy with that the way that works so let's go up here to where we had our image gallery here um, let's remove that um, so again we can't edit the image gallery so let's just put that back to attachments and I'll just add another one in the bottom to show you how the standard image field works so let's go here image don't need a label I'm gonna map it to the attachments okay and you can see here it is down the bottom um, and it stays in the right proportions let's jump through to preview what we've made here and we can see we have the recipe detail let's go back to pages and let's see how the recipe index works let's preview it again and we can filter so we can add the filters here we can click through oh we didn't add that in so let's go back because the page what didn't exist at that point so let's edit this go down here action now we have the recipe page we can add that and we'll preview again now when we click on one of these examples we should get through, go through to here we go the recipe detail page so as you can see it's pretty fast to get something up and running you get the um, the responsive design out of the box which is great you can edit the theme so you can change some of the colors here this is at a global level and then you can also using this small palette option change some of the colors and styles um, for each of the items uh, so for example if I wanted to change the tags option here I can actually change the color of that As you can see, Softer is a great option if you want to get a site up and running quickly. There are some good templates to get you started and you can customise to fit your brand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more no-code and low-code tools. And tell me which product you want me to review next. Thank you for listening. Catch you soon. Bye.